the recap of array multiplication. Also could be called area multiplication because it uses multiplication of numbers by representing them as the area of a rectangle. So we'll start with 32 by 10 and we're going to multiply those using the array method. So the, the first thing I'm going to do is separate the 13 into a 10 and a 3. So the 10s will be written separate to the units. The 32 will be written as a 30 and a 2. And then we're going to have a box here where we multiply um, edges of the box. So the 30 by the 10 will give me 300. The 30 by the 3 will give me 90. The 10 by the 2, which would be the area of the bottom left hand corner, would be 20. And the 2 by the 3 would give me an area of 6. So again, the, <clears throat> the value inside the box is gotten by multiplying the length and the width of the ends or the sides of each of those boxes. Now when you add together the total area, that's the 300, the 90, the 20 and the 6, that gives you the answer of 416 which is the same as multiplying 32 by 13 on a calculator. Second and final example. So we break up the 56 into a 50 and a 6, we break up the 82 into an 80 and a 2 and then we're going to multiply all of those numbers together. So there are, uh, there'll be four numbers when we multiply them together. First of all, the 50 by the 80 gives you 4,000. Then the 80 by the 6 gives you 480. The 50 by the 2 gives you 100. And the 2 by the 6 gives you 12. Add those together and they'll give you an answer for 56 multiplied by 82 gives you 4,592.